Well, it's been a while since I've done any work on the 67 Frolic. We've been doing quite a bit of traveling, doing some camping. Had another project over here that I've been working on, the 76 RV, but um, got a project that I'm going to work on now on the, on the Frolic uh, inside. Since starting the work on the 67 Frolic, um, I've replaced uh, quite a bit of the wood inside. Um, all of the ceiling is new. Um, all of the walls um, have been replaced. And I um, uh, haven't done anything with the cabinet. This cabinet up here was, was good. Didn't have to do anything with that cabinet. Uh, the little kitchen cabinet was in pretty good shape. Um, so I didn't, uh, I did take it out and sand it and finish it, but I didn't have to replace anything there. Uh, but I haven't done anything to this section over here uh, where the closet and the refrigerator, some drawers, and the door to the little toilet room is. And um, uh, I've done some sanding on it. I tried to, to do some sanding and you can see that it's uh, pretty... Um, Pretty hard sanding there. I was not able to get down very quickly and and um, get through all the varnish or the shellac that was on there. Also, when I put this refrigerator in, I had to add a, a piece above that, so that's kind of pieced. And then down at the bottom, there's some stains, I guess water stains, that um, I believe would be pretty difficult to, to sand out. Um, these drawer fronts um, could use some work. There's some staining around those. Um, also, when we got it, there was this hole in the closet. It looks like some critter got in there, got trapped in there, and eventually chewed its way out. So there's a hole there. So um, what I'm going to do uh, is I've bought some uh, birch veneer. So I'm going to take uh, all of the doors and drawers off, take the refrigerator out, and I'm um, going to veneer over all of this and um, and then finish it with uh, amber, amber shellac like I've done with everything else. I've got the doors off and the drawers out and the refrigerator out and um, just about ready to get started. I think the first thing that I'll do is uh, patch this spot right here. I'll have to cut that out, make it uh, a square or maybe a triangle, and uh, patch that with some solid wood, and then we'll veneer over that. One of the things that's going to be a little bit tricky is uh, this part right here, which there's a routed edge uh, on the inside of this panel, inset panel, so I'll have to bring the veneer just right to the edge of that little bitty uh, step right there on that routed edge and then make it curved and curved around so it'll be a little bit of a challenge but um, I'm ready to get started now so here's the part of this closet that was eaten away and um, so I've cut out the top and the bottom in order to make it uh, straight so I can put a block in there. Cut a block that will fit in there and um, I'll uh, tack that in there and then we'll veneer over the front and then I'll just stain this edge to match the rest of this here. At the top and bottom of this section here, um, this the edges were routed, and uh, there's a little edge that I'm going to have to come to and uh, match pretty closely. So I've taken a at the top here. I've taken a piece of paper 
and uh, taped it up there and rubbed it back and forth with a pencil to get that uh, shape of that so I can make a template um, to help me more closely match that when I cut these pieces. So I think I'm going to have one, one strip going all the way top to bottom here and I'll form that edge just, on, just right here and have it go up, come down just like the original board was and uh, do the same thing at the bottom and uh, dry fit everything before uh, I put the contact cement on it. So I used the template that I made with the paper to cut out uh, a thin piece of plywood with the same curves and I've got it where it actually fits in there nice and snugly so I know it's the same size. So that's what I'll use to trace and cut my um, veneer when I cut that with a, with a knife. So here's my birch veneer that I ordered and uh, had delivered. I've never done any veneering work before so I spent some time online reading and watching some videos uh, which was very helpful and um, this birch veneer has a looks like it has a paper backing and um, but it's got a pretty grain to it so I think it's going to look good um, this veneer I'm going to put on with contact cement and um, one of the videos I watched recommended the gel so I'm going to use that um, and you apply that to both the substrate or the cabinet and then to the veneer back and um, let it dry 15 or 20 minutes till it's a little bit tacky and um, have to be very careful when it touches because uh, I don't think it's going to be able to come apart once it touches so we'll see how that goes. I'm a little nervous obviously making these cuts trying to get everything just uh, as exact as I can um, so I've got my uh, metal straight edge here and um, I'm going to use that. I've got it clamped down so I'm going to use that to cut and then I'm going to have to move it on down here to finish the cut down to this point right here. So the first piece that I'm cutting to put on is the, the piece that's going to go along the bottom here. Uh, made it an inch and seven eighths wide and it's about 70 inches long. Um, so I've cut that and I've, uh, I'm getting ready to cut out the uh, little parts here where this is routed and um, it's going to have to have a little curved inset in a couple of places you can see right there kind of how it's going to shape and um, so I made a template and uh, we'll look at that next here's the piece that I've cut and um, I'm going to have to cut out a little section here. I made this template and um, put a piece on the back to so it would um, space it to the right depth when I marked it. So I just put that on there and marked that. Um, I've got a longer one here so I just did each end of this and then just connected the lines in between. So getting ready to cut that with a uh, knife here and uh, hopefully that'll fit. Well, I finally got the first piece down, and it took a long time. I was just um, being extra careful to get every measurement right and get these little cutouts right. So uh, it took me a pretty good while to do this one. Hopefully the rest of them won't take as long. Um, I'm not going through all the steps you need to use to... Um, install the laminate with the contact cement and everything. Um, I think there's other videos and blogs out there that probably do a better job of that so um, that's what I would recommend consulting. Just do a YouTube search or uh, just a Google search.
Okay, so you can see that I've got most of the veneer on the face of this section, and um, it's gone pretty well. Uh, not perfect. Have a little, few little places to fill in and uh, try to match and make look better. Uh, this is the section that I lack right here, so you can see what a, a big difference that is in uh, the old versus the new. And when I put the amber shellac on, that will. Uh, I probably have to put two or three coats to get it dark enough, and each coat will make it darker so that I can match the original there. I will probably take this panel out because I can take it out from the back and uh, put some on that as well. Uh, probably not this tall panel, it's in pretty good shape. <clears throat> um, so the next step is to cut these pieces and to get them on there and um, then I can see about putting on the amber shellac. I've got all of the face of this cabinetry uh, veneered with the new birch veneer and um, I've cut a new panel to go right here out of some birch plywood. The three drawers that go here, I'm going to veneer the fronts of those also and I'm going to have to fix the door that goes on this closet. There's a place that was eaten out and I have to patch that also. Here's one of the drawers that I'm going to put the veneer on the front. Cut a piece of veneer and uh, lift it bigger around the edge so when I get it contact cemented on there I'll go around it with a knife and cut it and make it fit exactly. I've got the veneer applied to the fronts of these three drawers and um, I made the veneer just a little bit bigger than it needed to be so it would hang over and I could trim it so you can see here that I've got some overhang and I'm going to have to trim that. I'm going to trim it with this utility knife. The, if these drawer fronts were square on the edges, uh, it would be much easier to trim, but you can see there's a bevel. You can see looking this way, there's, there's a bevel there. So I'm going to have to angle the blade when I trim that off. Um, and then I'll sand it afterward and it um, should be pretty good. I've already got those two right there uh, done and trimmed. So I'm getting ready to trim this one and like I said there's a, a bevel on the side on the edge of the drill front so I'm going to have to angle my utility knife and it's not going to cut exactly straight is because it's going with the grain and the grain tries to pull the blade around so as long as I don't cut too deeply then I'll be able to sand it on that bevel afterward and it'll all come out good. I don't know if you can so you can tell that that's kind of wavy, um, but when I sand it, it should come out. cut this edge, cutting across the grain makes it easier to 
get a straight cut. <coughs> straight cut but I'm still sand it to get it better. So I've got the veneer on the fronts of these three drawers and I've uh, got them put back in place. I think they look pretty good there. Uh, I really like the grain. I think that's going to look really nice when I get the amber shellac applied to those. And uh, I'll probably have to put at least three coats of amber shellac to get it as dark as the original wood. I'm not going to do anything to this inset right here because it's in good condition. I may put some clear shellac on it. But um, the, the more coats of amber shellac you put on, the darker that it'll get. So uh, we'll do that and try to get it matched. All right, I showed you previously where some kind of animal at some point in the past had gotten in this closet and had clawed its way out and clawed a hole um, in the, the cabinet facing and in the door. So here's where I fixed and, and patched the the cabinet facing itself and then uh, veneered over that so next I'm gonna uh, patch the door and I think I'm gonna go ahead and veneer the whole door of this closet so here's this closet door and um, I've just cut out a, a notch here where it was chewed out and uh, put a piece of pine in there I'm gonna sand that down and get it smooth and then I'm gonna uh, go ahead and veneer the whole door since I have enough veneer to do that and then I've got a, one of the doors one of the other cabinet doors that uh, got wet when I was working on them before um, and then got in the, the veneer kind of got messed up so I'm going to sand that down and put new veneer on that one as well alright so I wanted to get a good shiny surface on this floor before I went any further because um, if I were, were to get some a drop of shellac or something on it I wanted to be able to uh, get it off easier uh, so I've done that and um, also I've put down black plastic and, and taped around the edges um, to protect it as well if it if any does get under the edge of the tape like it did over here and I had to replace a couple of tile pieces then I think it will be easier to come off since it has the four coats of that um, polish on it. So uh, now what I'm doing is getting back on the uh, veneer to finish that up. I've started sanding off uh, a little bit of the putty that I put in here in these seams. So I'm going to sand all that and uh, start putting coats of shellac on it. Probably take three coats, um, at least three coats of shellac to get it um, to the color that I need. It gets darker with every coat that you put on it. So I want to get it um, as close as I can to this original. Alright, so I've got one coat of amber shellac on the new veneer and I think it's looking good so far. Um, you do have to work quickly with this shellac. If you go back over a section that is a little bit dry but not completely dry then it will kind of make splotches and uh, so you got to work quickly go from one side to the other uh, I'll put two more coats on at least maybe three more coats to get it um, as dark as this original part and um, so uh, it's going pretty well looking good so far so here's the finished product after three coats of shellac and um, getting everything put back together got the refrigerator put back in 
Um, this closet door turned out nicely after I re-veneered the, the whole thing. That panel down below and the drawer fronts 